Hi there, in this video I will show you how you can scrape the latest photos taken by the various cameras on board the Mars rovers using the programming language Python. For this purpose we will be using the official NASA API, which given its huge set of features provides a unique opportunity to explore the surface of Mars in unbelievable detail on your own. Each Mars rover has a set of multiple scientific and navigational cameras on board which continuously send new photos back to Earth. NASA gives everyone free access to that raw data through their API, which is luckily pretty straightforward to use and just mind-blowing for every space enthusiast. Let's automate these requests with Python. The first thing we do is import the requests and OS libraries. We will be using requests to make HTTP requests to the NASA API and OS to create directories on our local machine to store the downloaded photos. Next we define the API key and URL that we will be using to access the NASA API. In order to get your own API key, request one for free at api.nasa.gov. I will also put a link to it in the description. The first function we define and also call is get rover data. Its job is to retrieve some general metadata about all the rovers with their current state and information which for example includes their current Martian Sole, which is the equivalent of a day on Mars and the available camera endpoints we can request. Using the second function we define, we can make a request to the NASA endpoint with the desired parameters to fetch information about the latest photos taken by a specified rover on the specified Sol, which is always the current one, using the specified camera. This input data will be given to the function as parameters. We call this function for every single available camera on every Mars rover. The API will then return a response containing a list of available images that match our request. Each image in the response comes with detailed metadata, such as the date and time it was taken, the camera used and the Martian soil on which it was taken. This information allows you to learn more about the conditions on Mars at the time the image was taken. But all we want for now is the latest photo given in that data response. Sometimes it happens that a camera is inactive for a few days and thus the API cannot deliver us data matching the given parameters. That is why this function automatically checks for the last few Martian days too, if there is no picture available for the current soul. Next we define a function which can handle the download of our requested data. This function takes in three parameters. The metadata we just received using the last function, the name of the camera and the path of the directory where we want to save the downloaded images. The function then downloads the data of the last image using the metadata from the last step and saves it to a file on the specified directory using the camera name as the file name. Finally we have the main function. This is where the majority of the action happens. This part actually calls the just defined functions in a specific order and then parses the data which the functions receive from the API and reacts to it accordingly by looping for each Mars rover and their cameras. But that is pretty much the exact same procedure sequence which I just explained. It also handles the creation of the directory for the downloaded images if they do not already exist. Whether you're a scientist, a space enthusiast or just curious about Mars, the NASA Mars Rover Camera API is a valuable tool for exploring the Red Planet. Try it out and see for yourself the incredible detail and insight it can provide. Using the Python script we just coded, I also made a website which lists all the cameras on Mars with their latest taken photo. Check it out at louisdefde slash mars. It also includes the last photos ever taken by dead rovers as well as the inside spacecraft which as of December 2022 is just about to run out of power. As always, the entire source code is available open source on GitHub. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this short explanation video. If you want to see more content and projects like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel or check out another video.